10,000 dogs are put down each and every day. Family pets, abandoned dogs, unwanted puppies that never had a chance to show us who they really are. And now a woman is rescuing these dogs in the hope that they'll return the favor and rescue people. Buried beneath the rubble. Somebody just swept away in the water. Lost and alone. Many times our heroes have four legs and a wet nose. Ben and Eric are part of the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation, founded by Wilma Melville after she and her dog Murray were called to help search the rubble after the Oklahoma City bombing. At that time, there were only 15 search teams in the entire nation. She focused her energy on building more teams, and she started by rescuing dogs in shelters. These dogs have been tossed onto the trash heap. Ace, a yellow lab, was abandoned, tied to a railroad track and sprayed with mace. He was less than a day away from being euthanized. Jester's ability to scale a seven-foot fence with ease ended him in a shelter and on the euthanasia list. It's these rescued dogs that are now rescuing people. They are superbly fitted and suited to become disaster search dogs. Wilma looks for dogs that are 18 months old or younger and healthy, and they have to be bold and driven. It means a dog who must have a job. You can see Ben is hyper, barking, almost uncontrollable. But given a task, he puts his nose down, gets to work, and within 15 seconds is able to find a person hidden in this massive pile of concrete and steel. Today, the foundation has 75 certified rescue teams. They were on site at the World Trade Center and in Haiti after the massive earthquake hit in 2010. Wilma's next goal, to build a $14.5 million training facility in California for rescue teams across the country. To date, she's raised almost $12 million. Isn't that remarkable? Hmm. Wilma does all of her work as a volunteer, just like her rescue teams. Training for each team is a lifelong commitment and it takes eight months to become certified. Well, it just touches to heart to see people like Wilma making a difference in the lives of our innocent animals. And there are many people like that right here on Delmarva, such as our next guest. Suzette Stitely is the executive director of Baywater Animal Rescue in Cambridge. Suzette, thanks for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us about your rescue. Why is it different than the surrounding counties? Well, we are what they, is called a no-kill shelter. The, the euthanizing the animal is not an option. Every life is precious and every animal deserves to live. So uh, we're, we have very limited resources though because we're in one of the poorest counties in the state and so we have to manage our admissions. You have to call and have an appointment to surrender a pet. The animal has to be temperament tested to make sure it's friendly and we have to be very careful with the medical issues that we bring into our facility also. What kinds of animals do you see come through the rescue? We basically take dogs and cats at this point. It's a very very small, old, outdated facility, and we don't have a lot of space, and, and that's all we can do right now. So as far as funding, how are you funded? It is about 80% fundraising and private donations. We get a small amount of adoption fees that we ask people whenever they, they adopt a pet. So um, our budget's $240,000, so that's a lot of money to have to fundraise wow. And, wow. And, uh, so. get, and get in. That is a lot, but you recently had some help. Uh, for the animals at the rescue? Yes, we did. Will and Luke, they are wonderful little boys and, and in lieu of birthday presents for themselves, they had all their friends bring gifts for the animals and it was incredible. Yeah, we had them on the show just the other day. Yeah, we love to ha see the children get involved because they're the next generation that's going to do, you know, what we're doing now. So, uh, it, it, there are other ways for people to help. And I mean, adopting is great. Yes. But there are other ways to help. Sure. We need donations of, of course, money, uh, and we need, um, we can use pet food, um, toys. We go through so many toys for the dogs. I mean, if you have a dog, you know a, a stuffed animal lasts about 20, 24 hours, you know. Yeah. So we go through a lot of toys and treats. We do training of the dogs at the facility, so we need those sorts of gifts. Blankets, towels, sheets, anything like that that you're getting rid of, we can use for the animals. And, and you're also looking for families to become foster families for the animals. We are. We have a, a, in the summertime a lot of kittens that need foster care and the dogs, if they have a little bit of a behavioral issue or they need to come out of their shell, we need families who are willing to take them into their homes and do that for us. Got a couple of great pictures here, some families that, that adopt. That's awesome. Yeah, oh, it, that is the happy part of doing the job, I'll tell you. That's the good part. That's it wonderful. Is. Well, Suzette, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it very much. And we'll see what we can get done for you to help out with donations. Well, and, thank and everything you. That you guys thank you for do. inviting me. It's I appreciate it. Wonderful. Coming. Now, if you'd like more information on how you can help the rescue, simply go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. 
up next on Delmarva Life, do you know who you're voting for tomorrow? We'll try to help you make an informed decision before you head to the polls. And a little bit later on, the Slim Away promises to take inches off your waist instantly by making you look thinner. Well, you can judge for yourself because we're going to put it to the test. And if you don't want to just look thinner but be thinner, Dr. Oz has a couple of things you can try. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. Diet plans can be very pricey, so here are two low-cost solutions that won't run you more than five bucks. Made with fiber famine dry seed, psyllium supplements fill you up for longer. Add them gradually to your diet. And try coconut water. It contains arginine, an amino acid that speeds up metabolism. 